DLRs, what's up, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Hey, thanks for watching. We're working on a Mercruiser Outdrive, Alpha 1 Gen 1 specifically, and we're going to remove the old or original since 1989 decals and install new decals. Let's get started. DLRs, here we are at the Craftsman workstation, and we are at the tail end of the full Outdrive rebuild, both the upper and lower. And we're going to remove the old or original stickers or decals and install new ones. Coming to the workbench, and check this out. There are the brand new decals. We've got an Alpha 1 Gen 1 and this section right here will go on the outdrive itself and these decals are for the trim rods. We'll do that after we do those. And again to the left of the workbench there is our freshly rebuilt Mercruiser Alpha 1 Gen 1 outdrive and honestly for a 1989 the decals themselves are in pretty good condition. However they are starting to flake so we'll replace them. Let's get started. At this point, I grabbed a hair dryer, got it plugged in, and per the service manual, it does call for heat to be applied to the sticker to basically loosen up or weaken the adhesive on the backside of the sticker. So that's what we'll do. DORs, again, we have been busy. Look at all those parts that go into just the lower unit. That's not even anything to do with the upper unit. Prior to turning on the hair dryer and applying the heat to the sticker, I've got a little knife here and I'm going to basically use the opposite end or top end and as I apply the heat and weaken the adhesive on the back portion of the sticker or decal, I'm going to slide this underneath as shown there and use it to assist in peeling off the decal. At the same time, I'm going to do my best not to scratch the paint or chip off any portion of the paint. For a closer look and I have begun to remove the sticker up top near the oil vent, I'm probably going to remove that oil vent screw as well as the brand new gasket to alleviate any damage to it as I heat that portion up to weaken that sticker adhesive. And I'll just continue all the way around the back side and the opposite side. Again for a 1989 the decals are in pretty good condition. DLRs, I'm making good progress with this sticker. I use the knife on the beginning portion of the sticker. And at this point, continue to heat it up and do your best to peel this off in as little amount of pieces as you can.
to another close-up, you can see we are making progress. And again, heat is the trick. Do your absolute best not to burn yourself. That would not be good. We've got a few more stickers to go. At this point, all the decals have been removed and that one right there gave us some fuss, but we got it off. Again, heat is the trick. And what we'll do next is go grab some Goo Gone and clean up the surfaces that the old decals came off of and properly prepare the surfaces prior to applying the new decals. Back to the workbench and there is the pile of old decals. Again, not bad for their age. I'm excited to install or apply the new stickers. Here it is, DIYers, the Goo Gone we are going to use. This stuff works incredibly well. Down below in the comment section, as well as description section, is a link on where to purchase this. We are going to open it up, apply some to some paper towel, and we're going to put on rubber gloves and clean the surfaces again where the old stickers came off of. And again, just applying a little bit to the paper towel. Set that aside, cap it off prior to moving forward so it doesn't spill all over the floor. That would not be good. And just apply a little bit of pressure and it takes some time. Don't expect everything to come off immediately, but maybe about 10 to 15 minutes of scrubbing this whole portion of the outdrive will clean all the surfaces up again to prepare it for the new decals. I repositioned the camera. I've been at this for about five to seven minutes and that is clean. Now onto this portion. As you can see, where it said 3.0 liter, on the top portion is still some adhesive and that's gotta come off. And again, just by using that Goo Gone and rubbing it for a few minutes, goes right away. At this point, we're all finished up, and that Goo Gone did incredibly well, and I rubbed it on there for about 15 minutes, and DIYers, what's on there still is going to stay there. What we'll do now is allow the outdrive engine to dry, maybe overnight, maybe 24 hours, and then we'll get right back to the project and apply the new stickers. See you in 24 hours. All right, DIYers, we are back at it 24 hours later, and let's continue this project. Again, here is our brand new sleeve of decals. Back to the outdrive and we are going to apply the decal on the surface of the upper unit where the outdrive serial number is etched in to the actual aluminum case and this is kind of an important step diyers take note of the shape of this indented mold on the aluminum case where the old decal came off of you will notice top and bottom are straight lines and on the left hand side it's a straight line however to the rear portion of the outdrive you'll notice a small slant in this cutout so when it comes time to look for the proper sticker or decal, make sure you peel the right one off. In our case, it will be this Mercruiser sticker right here because again, top and bottom are straight, left side is straight, and on the far right hand side, you notice that slant or angle. And what we'll do is carefully peel this decal off. Set the sleeve aside. And from here, patience and precision is very important. And what I'll do is I'll take the top portion of the decal and I will shift it in place to the top portion of the mold to properly align this decal again in that machine mold in the upper aluminum case. And again, do not rush this part. And what I'm doing now is just carefully applying some pressure to the decal while I keep the far left side raised to alleviate air bubbles. shown there. Next decal I will install is this top one. And again, that is this one that wraps all the way around the outdrive. And take a good look at that decal. It is not a straight line decal. It has bends in it, and that is by design. When again, it loops around the corner or edges of the outdrive all the way to the backside. And although on the sleeve it is positioned this way, we actually have to apply it that way. And I'll show you why. Again, applying that left portion of the decal to this portion of the outdrive in a straight line. As I make this bend, you'll notice that this portion right here will remain straight. In the event that we did it this way, and I straighten that decal out, as it makes its bend, it will bend downward. And that's not what you want. So I'll do my best to carefully peel this sticker off. Some people do it differently. Some people use the sleeve as assistance. In other words, keeping half the decal and peeling it as you go, but we are going to do it this way. 
And before continuing on, again, just ensure that the decal itself is as straight as possible. In our case, there is a little bend. I'll peel this back up slightly and realign it and apply it. I am now at the edge. I'm going to carefully turn the out drive and move the camera slightly. And again, if this portion is straight, you should be able to carefully apply the remaining portion of the decal in a straight line, as shown here. To the right side of the out drive, if you're looking at it from behind. And again, the slant part needs to be taken into consideration. And on this side, the slanted part or angle is on the left or rear portion of the out drive. And that will be this decal right here. To the back portion of the out drive and it's time to install the alpha one decal i'm excited about this one at this point we're left with three decals and we are going to use this one next where it says serial number now, the original decal that was applied back in 1989 said 3.0 liter, and unfortunately I couldn't find that one, so this is what we're left with. But that is a cool decal. If you use that decal as is, as we just did, you can now write your serial number right there. Taking a step back and DORs, that looks pretty good. Definitely brighter and cleaner than the original 1989 decals. Now as far as the upper unit, you can see there is some paint missing, but we're not worried about that at all. I shifted the out drive and the stand around so you could see the other side. Awesome. I've now repositioned the out drive. Let's go to the back portion again. And this decal right here is specifically designed for your bell housing. However, in our case, our decal on our bell housing is still in really good condition. Back to the workbench, we are left with four decals. The top two go to the hydraulic power trim rods, and those two go to our bell housing. Now in the garage, to the back of the boat, where the gimbal ring and transom and bell housing are. And this basically has been rebuilt. All brand new bellows, shift cable, slide and everything and change of plans i am actually going to replace that sticker and then at the very end in a separate video i will punch in the serial number on both the transom ring as well as the outdrive stickers and i won't bore you with it i'll perform the same procedure and steps to remove both the starboard and port side stickers and install brand new ones that one's kind of worn out and to an update our second decal kit has arrived for that sticker only. Because the more we thought about it after applying this to the out drive, we are also going to remove the old sticker on the transom plate and install a new one. And the reason why we want it on both the out drive and transom plate, number one, this is mainly for the transom plate ring as opposed to the out drive, but we chose to put it on the out drive and order a second decal, is because as you see here, serial number. We are going to use this letter and number stamp kit or set to stamp in the actual serial number for our transom and inboard, which is on there right now, as well as use this stamp kit or set to stamp in the stern or outdrive serial number, which is different from the stamped in serial number that's currently on the old sticker on our transom ring. So again, that's personal preference, but that's what we're doing. To an update DIYers, check that out. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? Much, much better. I like that. A lot better. Back inside to the out drive and a big difference. DORs, we hope this helped. Hey, do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon, click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. 
That would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.